Hello, my name is Sharon Gatchel, and I'd like you to invite you to my Community of Scholars Research presentation on Wednesday, March 1st at 1230 in Morrill Hall, Room 200. I'm one of the academic advisors here at OSU Marion, but what you may not have known is that I'm taking history courses to earn a bachelor's degree this time in history. My senior research thesis is advised by Dr. Margaret Sumner. During one of my research classes, I began reading about a phenomenal story that happened right here in Marion in 1839. Although I had heard briefly about this story before, I had no idea how important this story became to the earliest beginnings of the Civil Rights Movement that people failed to recognize. I want to tell you about Bill Anderson, who came to Marion. He previously was a slave in Virginia. He said he was a free man. The community liked and trusted him. He became their friend. Then eight Virginians came to town to claim him as their property. Bill sat in jail for 40 days until the trial could be held. By that time, the local community all came to see the court trial. A day of testimony commenced, but only from the Virginians since the laws of the time could be, would not let a black man testify for himself in a trial. The next day, Bill was set free there was not a sufficient proof that he was owned by the claimant. But the Virginians grabbed him anyway with their knives and pistols and began dragging him in to, to claim him again as another man's property. Many local Quakers had planned for Bill's escape. The local Marion people on the street threw strong stones and bricks to the Virginians to help Bill. The local supply of guns from the militia was passed out to the crowd and the Quakers blocked the Virginians from running after Bill. But to hear more about the story and what finally happened to Bill, please come to the presentation on March 1st. Come learn about the courageous people of Marion who stood up against slavery. The Marion riot was heard across the nation as it became headlines in the newspapers for months. It caused people to make decisions on what their stance on slavery would be. Also hear about the original documents of 1839 that was recently found in the Marion County Courthouse and future plans for the new research to come. Thank you very much.